every day I get better and better and what used to be hard becomes easy. Matter of fact, sometimes so ridiculously easy that I wonder why it was ever hard in the first place. That's why most people don't succeed much. The most successful people are very proactive to life. What is the difference between the two? Well, let's take a look at what reactive is. Reactive is that guy that's nervous. He's typically your nice guy. Most nice guys are very reactive. They're not good with tension. They're terrible with tension, actually. Um, let's say, for example, the nice guy takes a girl out on a date. He's at dinner with her. What does he want to do more than anything in the world? Because he's nice to a fault. He's, get, he's being nice to try to get her to like him so he gets validated so his abandonment issues and his, his shame issues don't come up, which are so deep and so far back, he probably doesn't even remember them. I had them pretty bad, but I couldn't even remember where they got created. I had to just go through and process them. But so he doesn't want to feel his abandonment. Let's say they go to dinner again. I'm going to go back to that original analogy. And the woman, and he says, where do you want to go to dinner? And she's like, well, I don't know. Where do you want to go? And then the reactive guy would say something like, well, you know, I, I, I don't care. I just want to go where you want to go. And she, she's like, well, what, do you, what kind of food do you like? Whatever you like, whatever makes you happy. Well, I kind of like this and hesitantly says that. And he looks at her for approval. And you see how he's scared of making a decision. He's scared of stepping into tension and getting her upset. He's scared of making the wrong decision and her not liking him. So he's reactive to the tension. What does that mean at a deeper level? He's trying to get rid of the tension as fast as possible. Give me an answer, you decide, tension goes away, you're happy, everything's good. You see why women can't be attracted to a guy like that? Let's look at it another way. Uh, I'm walking through a restaurant and I have a plate of food. I just bought a plate of food at the counter and I spill it all over the place. I make a big fucking mess. The reactive guy is going to get really embarrassed and really ashamed because it's going to activate his shame inside of himself. I'm not good enough and everybody's looking at me. There's a, and that part of him is going to feel really uh, terrible about that in that moment. He's not going to feel it in that logical sense, but he's just going to feel an emotion like that. And he's going to get really reactive and embarrassed. And he's going to try to pick up everything as, pos as fast as possible to get rid of the, uh, the reactive nature. Or he's gonna, what he's really trying to do is get rid of everybody looking at him. He's trying to get rid of the tension. He doesn't want it on him. The emotional tension in this case. The uh, proactive person is uh, actually super comfortable because he doesn't have the toxic shame. And he doesn't have these, uh, the, these emotional issues. Yeah, maybe he gets embarrassed, that's fine but he doesn't bother him. He turns a little red, he laughs, he picks up the dishes. He's like, oh, I made a big mess here. And he deals with it. He doesn't try to rush through it as fast as possible. He's proactive with it. He rides it and feels it fully like a surfer riding a wave. He rides the time of the energy of the experience. Whereas the reactive guy is trying to get on that wave and he's paddling as fast as possible to get it done. Another form of a reactive nature is just running away. I can't handle it, I can't handle it. He's gone, he's out. He runs out the door, leaves the mess, okay? And this makes his life really stressful. It actually amplifies the amount of tension in his life, the very thing he doesn't want to fear because he's so scared of it. He, everything he does just amplifies more and more and more of it. And his, his life becomes one big reactive mess, okay? The proactive guy doesn't run from or avoid the tension. The proactive guy actually can bring and play with tension too when there is none. So for example, there's no tension and when he first meets the girl, so he brings a little bit to flirt with her. That's what flirting is. That's why he grows. The tension teaches him stuff. He learns, he learns about life from the tension. He enjoys it. More people want to be around him because he can handle the shit when the shit hits the fan. And that's what it boils down to. People can trust him with responsibility. They can, that's tension, right? They can trust him to show up when the going gets tough. And this is also why the bad boy gets the girl. Because the bad boy, even though he can be a dick, can handle tension. Whereas the reactive guy typically runs from it. The bad boy knows how to create tension with this girl. So every time you step into the tension, this is why we're doing fives instead of tens. If I run over there and I'm and approaching that beautiful woman as a 10 and freaks me out and I'm like this the whole time, I'm going to be more on the reactive side and it's going to be hard for me to develop the proactive side because it's so much tension. It's like lifting way too much weight and all I'm going to do is wall off more. But if I go over there with a five, I can kind of calm down and start to learn to relax a little bit. 
And every time I do it, I relax a little bit more and I can handle more. And then I relax more and I can handle more. And I relax more and I can handle more. It's the same thing with learning to surf. If I get out there and I want to learn to surf, I'm not going to go out to these huge waves to start with. I'm going to start out with something I can handle, maybe even the whitewash. And reactive guys, nervous guys are going to be like, no, I got to look cool. I can't look, I can't stand up on a board in the whitewash. People will laugh at me. They'll think I'm not cool. I'm not a confident guy. I'm not a solid guy. So they go out to these huge waves and get their ass handed to them. That's what I did the first time, actually, before I learned all this. I borrowed a surfboard from a friend. The waves were huge and they were supposed to teach me. They didn't teach me. So I just took the board out there, got the shit beat out of me and uh, came back and quit that day. And it took me years to go back because I just didn't enjoy it. And that's because I didn't handle it properly. And so now I'm very careful with this. But what happens is every day I get better and better. And what used to be hard becomes easy. Matter of fact, sometimes so ridiculously easy that I wonder why it was ever hard in the first place.